What's going on, YouTube? Mr. Random checking in. Yep. And we back at it again. We're doing some more sanding and some more prepping. And I know you're probably asking yourself, well, how many times he going to go ahead on and sand the car? He keep going over the same spots. Let me go ahead on and say this right now. When you're doing a paint job, your prep work is the most important. It's actually documented that it's 80% of the work. So with that being said, make sure, I mean, make sure, double go, double check right now. Make sure that notification bell is on, guys, so y'all can be updated when we do post this video. Because the next one on this car, we're going to be laying that paint down. I ain't saying the next video that I post is going to be laying the paint down, but I said the next one on this car, we're going to be laying the paint down. So make sure you got on that post notification bell. And if you're new, go ahead on to the left of that bell and hit that red button, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And it also will be a link in the description if you're new and you want to check out and get caught up on all the latest and the greatest work that we've been doing on this channel and we got plenty more to come too that's why it's important that you had that notification bell on all right now what we're doing now we just going over the whole car with some 400 and we're making sure everything is smooth and we're gonna wipe it a few times get it all prepped out before we lay that good old paint down guys so go ahead on relax grab your chips go ahead grab your seat your sofa whatever you're gonna sit on your juice too or your popcorn and get real comfortable because you're gonna enjoy this whole process let's go baby so if you didn't watch my other videos you already know that we've been using 400 and 600 too we got some areas on our vehicle that we have primed and we also have exposed prime. That's because we've been sanding a good while. As you can see, there's also plenty areas like the one on the left corner, rear corner of that roof that you're looking at where the bondo and the old primer is exposed that we got up under that gray primer. That's when you're getting it real good, guys. And this whole time, we've just been going in a crisscross pattern. So, you know they had definitely had some high spots because the block that we're using is flat and we just been sanding and sanding i told you ain't nothing wrong with sanding the more sanding the better your paint job gonna be you want everything real smooth so don't go ahead don't be afraid guys just go ahead on work that wrist and i promise this is gonna be the last time that you're watching me sand on this car on the primer i'm talking about because i'm gonna have to prime i'm gonna have to probably um just saying a wet clear too if, if i mess up get any runs or anything but right here we actually um we, we getting ready to spray some spray some on um, primer or you know on a car so we had to wet the garage flow so it could um, um, catch all the trash and stuff and we could be ready look now we wiping it down we wiping it down all that stuff we sand off of that all the old primer that we done knocked off we wiping all of that dust off Cause I told y'all before, you don't want to keep on sanding on top of your old sand dust. You want to have a clean surface area, a clean workspace too. That's whatever you do, whatever type of work you do, or whatever your area is, you always want to keep it clean. So right now, all I have is some shop rags that I've got from Home Depot right now. They really work good. And it's a blue and green box. It comes with 100 rags. I think it was like five bucks but they're very durable you can dip them in water you can wash with you can wipe with you can wring them out everything and they'll never break on you guys they're very reusable so with that being said y'all go ahead on and run a home depot especially if you're doing any mechanic work any handyman work or any work where you're going to be using some want some durable rags to where they're going to last you guys i'm telling you with this process, I can do a whole car, rinse it off, wring it out and everything. It's thick like a towel and it's um, lint free as well. So y'all go check that out. Now right here, y'all see, um, we actually just, you know, we, we wiping everything down, everything that we done sanded, everything that's exposed. You just want it clean so you don't have any um, solvents, any dust or anything that making getting your paint and harm your paint job or make any reaction and we just wiping it with a wet 
rag guys to go ahead on and collect that dust that we have been sanding down off of our primer that collected on to our body you want to wipe everything guys it don't take but a step to wipe it down because once that paint on there you can't wipe it no more baby that's it you only get one chance to make this opportunity right so you got to take advantage of it guys i'm not going to tell you nothing wrong like i've been saying the whole time this here is the most important step of the painting process so you don't want to rush it you take your time with it you take your time you go ahead on smooth everything out with your sandpaper be sure to fill everything as you go along by hand get your surface clean you go ahead on and check it and I think that you'll be very satisfied with the end results it take time it take time this thing not gonna happen overnight perfection is key Yes, guys, that's right. We're back on it. I never said we was done. We had some spots where we had some metal showing. So we had to take care of those spots and hit them with a primer. Also, this primer here is a filler and it's also a primer. So there's also areas where they had some deeper scratches that we might have couldn't sand out enough that we might have went too deep because we hit it with some 150 or something. Now, once you spray that primer, you also want to sand around your primer and get it smooth. Back to that finish again, guys. It's always got to be smooth. Any dimples or any imperfection, it would definitely show up in your paint. I can't emphasize that enough. It's going to show up in the paint, y'all. So you want to get it all smooth. You see how I fill everything by hand? You want to fill as you go along. A real painter, he always going to feel his work by hand, and he going to look at it from the side, guys. I'm telling you. So right now, we're just trying to smooth out this primer, because if we didn't, it would have had that orange peel finish to it. I got a twin. I got a twin. I'm drying. Don't lay on me. I'm drying that bitch. I read paint all over you. I'm going to leave on my fucking car. That's it, dry. I'm putting all the dick. Shut the fuck up. Just what? Now you got me having to hit this shit again. Ain't no paint on me. Boy, you in your pocket. That's some balls. Nah! I been hitting that lab all over Instagram. Paint cars too, bro? Fuck no. I'm paint all over. But you don't pay the people. So as y'all see guys, I'm wiping it back down again after I hit those prime spots with our block with the 400 on there and we put that eagle eye on there to make sure there wasn't any imperfections. No man, I want to myself some money. For a few minutes. And two minutes I'm fear of fucking, I'm back like a flank and <laughs> I'm about business. I'm about business. I, I catch all of them when I get my camera on the street trying to make it. I'm on my business. This ain't gonna get paid. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm on that same shit you had on three years ago. <laughs> I'm here for a hundred dollars. You don't rob me. I'm a good job. I'm a writer. You got a writer. You know what I'm saying for yourself? Alright, guys. We're back again, y'all. And y'all know what we're doing. We're wiping it down dry right now. And we're just hitting this here top little section where they say a bondo is exposed. And we got another dimension of some primer right there just to make sure it's good. I'm just hitting it real light. I'm not going to be long with y'all. 
Trust me, don't leave yet. Don't leave. I want you to see the whole process because it's really amazing. It's amazing me before my eyes that I really did all of this by myself. And y'all see the pattern that I'm going in. And you only need to worry about priming over any metal. And old paint, they got some guys, they probably are prime the bondo too. But I wasn't really concerned about it because I'm going to go ahead on and hit those spots with my paint before I start applying it to the whole car within the process. Right now, we're wiping down the whole car with our wet rags. You're going to come back and dry it. And the sanding and priming process is finished, y'all. It's finished. It's all done. And I'm glad you were here to stick with me. And I'm also glad I was able to stick with y'all and make this happen. Guys, believe me, when the process is completed, you're going to be very proud of me more than I'm probably proud of myself. Believe me, guys. Look at it. Just look at the finish right now as, as, as we wipe that water off. There. Look at it. Doesn't it look slick? Don't lie. Be honest. Get in that comment box and you let me know how that process looked. So with that being said, thank y'all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed another video. Make sure you subscribe and turn that bell on, Mr. Random.